heritage here. Um, sometimes when you read uh, books, authors are asked, who is your favorite reader? And um, I think in the spirit of that question, tonight's lecture is really something that I feel it's, uh, if I may be selfish enough to say, it's kind of for me. Uh, I, I'm, I'm very happy that everybody is here, but I'm very happy that Konstantin is here to give the talk. I really, um, I'm looking forward to uh, the presentation. Um, I think all of you are um, familiar with his work and also know that here at the GSD, over the past couple of years, we've been working quite hard to really try and understand as a school how we can uh, engage more with the whole phenomenon of design more broadly and specifically industrial design. We often say that um, the fact that we are called the Graduate School of Design and that you know last year we celebrated the 75th anniversary of the Graduate School of Design quite often creates a confusion for the school because people think that we actually are our school of industrial design and that we are doing furniture and graphic design and we tell people that we, we do architecture and landscape architecture and they think it's really like the, the Bauhaus. Um, and um, so um, somehow we are very keen on this question of design and what it's its role because you also know that the word design has now become more prevalent beyond industrial design in some ways in fields such as organizational structures or business and, and the, the link between what is called design thinking and um, the type of work that gets done here in the school. So I think the very word is now suggesting other possibilities. On the one hand, going to sort of architecture, landscape architecture, urban planning, urban design. And on the other, really also connecting to industrial design and now going to a field as a sort of mode of thought, as a way of thinking. So uh, we have done some research here in the school just really trying to figure out what is the status of contemporary design um, uh, around the world and um, who are interesting figures. And last year we organized a conference um, which was called Liminal, um, Liminal Objects and it was really intended as a way to explore the relationship between industrial design and space, industrial design and architecture. Not just pure industrial design in terms of the object, but really this condition of relationality between objects and, and spaces. It was, it was very fruitful for us to open up that discussion. Tonight's lecture really for us is a continuation of that conversation, in the sense going from a conference, from um, a, a session where there are many people, to now this week we have actually two uh, talks, tonight's talk by Constantine, and then on Friday there's Thomas Heatherwick, whose work is very different, but I think he also comes from the connection to industrial design and then the link to from industrial design to sculpture, to art, and going in a different direction uh, to, to issues of transportation and so on. In a way, uh, as, a, as a piece of uh, gossip, it's also fortuitous that just meeting um, Constantine uh, that I discovered that you know he went to school in the UK and worked with a very well-known furniture designer called John Makepeace, who used to uh, run a school of furniture design in Dorset, in England, and he operated out of a place called Parnham, but actually built a very big, um, big setup where he... Uh,